Now, so far, we've learned that electric fields are caused by charges. If you get a positive charge, you get electric fields pointing away from it, a negative charge pointing towards it. And these fields never have a curly pattern. If you do a loop around them, the line integral around the loop of the electric field is always zero. Also, we thought that in the early 19th century, research by a number of people, including Faraday, showed us that in fact you can have curly electric fields, electric fields that go round in circles. Ones where the line integral around a loop is not zero, ones that can't be well described by a potential. Now if everything is steady, nothing is changing, you can't get fields like that, they don't exist. It's all like this. But what Faraday discovered was that if you change the magnetic field, then you can get a curly electric field produced. So let's see how this works. The simplest way to think about it is to have a solenoid, just a loop. Now, if you remember, if it's a long enough loop, you get a strong magnetic field going down the loop and nothing much outside. And now let's try and measure the electric field around it. If the solenoid is just sitting there with no current going through it, then there's no electric field around this. If, on the other hand, you get it going, so there's a steady magnetic field, there is still no electric field around. But if the magnetic field in the middle is changing, it's either getting bigger or getting smaller, then it turns out you get one of these curly fields curling around the solenoid. Actually, it curls around inside the solenoid as well. Which direction it goes on depends which way the magnetic field is going and whether it's increasing or decreasing. Now, let's say we have a solenoid with a magnetic field pointing out of the screen, up towards us. And let's say that magnetic field is getting stronger. In that case, the curly electric field will point this way. If, on the other hand, you have the magnetic field pointing out of the screen but it's getting weaker, then the electric field reverses and points this way. alternative situation, let's say you have a solenoid and now you have a magnetic field that's pointing into the screen, away from you. If this one's getting bigger, then the curly electric field is like this. If it's getting smaller, the curly electric field is going like that. This is a very real electric field. If you put a bit of charge over here, a Q there, it will be pulled sideways this way or this way, depending which way the electric field is, worse, is working. If you put an entire loop of wire around it, this changing this electric field will actually cause currents to go one way or the other. So it's a very real electric field. It can't be explained by Coulomb's law. Coulomb's law cannot give you this curving pattern. So we can call it a non-Coulomb electric field caused by changes in magnetic field.